Hello everybody, it's Joseph of Arkham here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword Part 24. Last time we started in the Champions Cup, and we also evolved our Dracload into the mighty pseudo-legend of Dracopult as he is. And I'm really liking Dracopult. Not at, like, he's pretty damn cool. I wouldn't say as cool as Hydragon, or maybe Tyranitar, but definitely third. Uh, you might want to put Garchomp on that list as well. Yeah, now we're kind of getting a little bit of sidetrack. Alright, so I think uh, this is going to be. There's some stuff going on about Rose Tower in particular. So we gotta find the bad member. No, but uh, I do have some videos planned for a week. I just don't know if we mentioned, if I mentioned in the last part that uh, there's some stuff going on. What the? It's this fool. Who has to battle you, you fucking lame? Eric. It's kind of like the exact those kind of move I was expecting. But, uh, the thing is, it's fucking meow. And I'm probably gonna be flinching. Mud shot, let's go! Yeah, but Pokemon is almost over. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is the part where we, caught, where we catch Eternatus. Because I know you catch him right before you battle. Right before you battle um, Leon himself. But the thing is, we're not going to use Eternatus because you can choose his entire fucking game. You can choose his entire match with Eternatus Dynamax Cannon signature move. So as soon as he gets caught, he's going into the box. I said I'll transfer him to Poke my Pokemon home and everything, and I might give my Tendritus and my Zacian for this playthrough away. But... Yeah, he's like fucking right behind the phone booth. Oh, against a dragon type? Like, yeah, let me just kind of hit the U-turn, like, instantly. Because I forgot, Mawile's a fairy type in this region. Come on, shove this. No, but I don't think I've ever been to that attached to my Pokemon in a single playthrough. I mean, maybe my Sinnoh playthrough when I got Lucario. But if I was doing this, you know, non galler Pokemon, I probably would have a Lucario on my team. Maybe a Gardevoir, too. 
Because those are two some those are two of my favorite Pokemon ever made, and those two are some powerhouses. But yeah. So we're swapping it into the Drendal to take on his Excadrill. Dude, Excadrill 3D model. No. What have they done to you, my good friend? I've used Excadrill on my um, first black and white playthrough. Excellent Pokemon, it's just it's 3D model, it's so dumb. I like heavily wants to know what's inside that fucking Pokemon. Grassy Sea Boost Boost Defense on Grassy Terrain. Oh. Yeah. to the monorail because that's where he's hiding. Yeah, I don't I don't fucking get this league member. He just kinda came out of nowhere. Ah, ha, ha, bad league member. Yeah, that shit just you know don't make sense, but then again the game of Pokemon what really does. Corbett, I used to be one of those. Where is this guy? Where is this fucking dude? How many times I actually watch past this stupid fucking thing? So yeah, we found fucking stupid Eric again. Let's 
do the pyro ball. Big Pokemon. But Pyro Balls is even bigger move. I'm gonna go confront these people. Oh, he's doing a fucking street performance, dude. What a nice guy. Pierce is a great character. He might not die to Max, but hey. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna save Rose Tower for next time. So I do want to thank you all for joining on this part of uh, part 24 of Pokemon Sword Issue. And I'll see you all in the next one.